my healing clients, most of them have it. And even in my yoga trainings, they have it and they listen to the CD. And I think it's great because this book, it's not the book that's the power, it's the consciousness and the consciousness that came through this woman who channels Abram and she teaches the laws of alignment and spiritual alignment. It's really important stuff. And if we start to practice with this, if we get this book and put in the CD and listen to one of the sections, you know, they're 15 minutes long and we listen every day for 15 minutes and we just come into a space of, I'm just in this space to release resistance just for the goodness of that alignment, just for the goodness of feeling at ease. As we can honor that, we will start to shift a lot of things in our life because it's not about doing it to achieve spiritual enlightenment. So then we'll be worthy. It's not about doing it so that we can just drive a Porsche 911 and then people will think we're awesome. It's not about becoming the most amazing author of all time so everyone knows our name. These are things we can use laws of attraction for and they will work. But what's deeper in this practice is really about alignment and it's really about conscious creation. And when we create consciously, what we create should benefit the whole. Our creation should not harm or hurt anyone. Our creation should actually uplift the whole. And so I feel like that's the deepest essence of this teaching is to help each human become more conscious and more conscious of their consciousness. And that's really the, the power. Your true power is your consciousness. And when you can get out of the way, like when I'm doing the show, I don't even know what I'm going to say ever until I'm on the show. And that is an example that I'm mirroring to you each week of someone that is not dictating what's going to happen. I'm not making something happen. I don't have PowerPoint presentation. I don't have like notebooks that I'm going by really rigidly because I'm just showing up and letting the consciousness speak through. And whatever is needed to be heard by the ones listening today is exactly what's going to come out. And whoever's tuning in today, or maybe they're going to find this video in a hundred years Maybe I won't even be on the planet anymore and someone will find this and it will still be helping people and still be affecting the consciousness. And that's really the power is that consciousness. So I'm going to read a page here before we sign off today because it is six o'clock, six o two. From your place of alignment, beneficial behavior will be inspired and wonderful things will unfold with great ease. The more ease you feel, the less resistance you hold and the more the cells of your body can find their balance. When you are not in vibrational alignment with your source, you are still able to use your willpower to motivate yourself into action, but there is nothing very pleasant about that kind of behavior. And in the larger scheme of things, it is also relatively unproductive. So let's think of someone wanting to like lose weight and they really, they're like, they want to lose weight. They want to be thinner. They want to be healthier. They want to feel good in their body and feel energized. But if their focus is on like willpower and momentum and they have to starve themselves and then they have to go run five miles and they hate running, they can get away with that maybe for three, four weeks and they'll make themselves do it. Or maybe they even do it for years. They make themselves exercise, 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 starve, starve, starve. A soul can be put through that so long. And it doesn't really bring joy and it cannot be maintained long term. It, there will come a day where there will be a consequence to that activity, whether it be the body breaks down or the spirit breaks down, emotional crisis happens, but it cannot be maintained. So if we think of it that way, in a state of releasing body fat and finding greater ease and joy and vibrational alignment, feeling energized, the swifter the swifter path to that alignment would be in meditation, releasing resistance to your own body, not having hateful thoughts for, towards your body, not, you know, going in fear and over consuming a bag of Oreos because you're feeling emotional or depressed, but dealing with those emotions and going into a place with meditation where you release the resistance, you release the fear and you love the body, you find a place of ease and great acceptance. That is the swiftest path to a vibrational alignment with anything you want. And it can be maintained. 
all it is is it's, a, it's complete essence is about maintaining it which is just tuning in with that consciousness and releasing the e releasing the dis-ease and as we do that we will heal sickness on this planet as we do that we will heal the feelings and problems of not being enough of anything because in truth there's plenty but that fearful part is what causes us to think there's not and so we over consume so a lot of people that have um issues where they overeat often have had history where they actually starved or went without um, or were raised by parents who went without and so we pass this energy on like a baton and there's this passing on of lack and that there's not enough and that actually leads us to overconsume. So that's a big cellular memory that would benefit to be cleared. So that's just a little example of that. Um, it is our knowing that once you discover the leverage of energy that the vortex provides and the ease and flow of aligning with this energy that creates worlds, you will never want to return to the struggle or hard work of being out of your vortex again. Indeed, I can promise you from someone who's done this, you'll never want to go there again. And if you dabble in it again, you'll quickly realize how shitty that is. And you'll say, okay, let me go back into surrender because making that happen is not working out. There is a big difference between allowing the natural well-being and trying to make it happen. As you settle into the rhythm of consistent alignment with the energy of your source, you will feel physically energized and enthusiastic about life. You will find yourself wanting to be more active, not because you need to in order to accomplish something, but because you want to. So now yep. you want to go for a walk because you love your body, you love life, you want to be outside. Yay. Not, oh, I got to go for a walk. <laughs> you know, um, any former feelings of overwhelmment and struggle will be replaced with new feelings of eagerness and passion. And rather than wanting to retreat and rest, you will want to get out into the world and discover. Day by day, as your resistance lifts, you will uncover the passion for life that you were born with. And at the same time that your spirits are lifting and your physical stamina is improving, the cells of your body will be thriving as well. Because the cells of your body are responding to that ease and to that joy. Your new good feeling attitude is not only an indication of the improvement in your physical body, it is the very reason for it. So I'm going to read that sentence again and really listen to that. Your new good feeling attitude is not only an indication of the improvement in your physical body, it is the very reason for it. The happier you feel, the less hindrance you are to your cellular body. Most people have it backward. They want to feel good in their body so that they can be happy. So think of someone struggling with their weight and they want to, you know, they want to feel good about their body so that then they can be happy to be in their body. And it's, that's backwards. What you want to do, it says the secret to be, to the, uh, the, <laughs> the secret is to be happy first, to choose joy, to choose happiness, no matter the condition of your body. And then physical well-being must follow. So as we choose a state of alignment and we focus on the love for our body, we focus on the wholeness, we see and visualize our bodies healthy and vibrant, and we hold that space for our bodies and we hold that vision, we start to imagine it into being. And that vibration of love and light starts to heal the very, heal the very cells of your body. It'll invigorate you, it'll inspire you, and you'll now have more energy and passion to go and do things that will actually assist you with that goal. So hopefully that made sense to everybody. But I encourage you to get that book. And any of you that live in my area, or even those that are remote, if any of you want to work with me as a healer, I'm, in May, I'm actually offering a painting with spirit class on May 2nd. And that's of course got to be live because well i guess you could actually join us remotely if you had your computer and just have your canvas and we could talk through that would be possible um i have a past life regression workshop from 5 to 7 30 on saturday may 9th and that is something that you guys could do through skype and anything that i offer if you're interested i've had people that watch the show that have actually contacted me and said tanya could i just work with you um you know one-on-one -on -one about that workshop, but could you tell me and catch me up on what's happening in that? And I can. So if you want to do that, just contact me and we can talk 
you know, like the pricing and everything. I, I pretty much treat that like a soul coaching session. So if you go to the website under tanyaangel555.com, you can see the soul coaching and we could do a package deal or something if you want to do several sessions. So, you know, think about that and really thank the universe for bringing you the money, the resources, the time, and trust that when you're ready and the teacher comes in, you want to say yes and you want to thank the universe for supplying everything you need for that rather than saying there's not enough. Oh, I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have something. This is the old story that we have to clear if we want to improve ourselves. So I encourage you to go into meditation and thank the universe for bringing you the teachers. All the students that I teach that mentor with me, they tell me how these magical stories of how they were praying for the aligned teacher. They were praying for the one that they could really relate to and that could help them heal and improve their lives. And then they synchronistically met me. And then the money came in and everything just magically came into place. And that's because they were focusing on alignment and they were calling it in. And then they said yes when it came. So something to think about. Um, The other thing I'm offering is the Empowering the Empath Mentorship. I do have a few remote clients that are already joining me. And if any of you want to do that, you can. So contact me. That's the third Saturday of every month for the next six months. And it is from 4 to 7 p.m. Um, so you can contact me for more information on that. And then the sacred soul sister circles is always the last Saturday and I'm planning. I, well, I'm not even going to say planning. I am opening and surrendering my gifts and my time and my wisdom to the universe for leading healing retreats and mentorships and seminars. And so if any of you are interested in that, you have connections you would like it to be in your city, you can, you know, you want to even help organize such a thing, contact me and let me know because I know there will be many beautiful souls involved in these dreams that I'm putting out there and uh, we'll co-create some magic together. So I just want to thank all of you for tuning in. It's 611 right now. Nice. And thank you guys for taking the time to, you know, be more conscious and taking the time to love each other and really care about each other and care about yourself. And I encourage you this week until we see each other next Sunday at five, go and look in your mirror every day and not just quickly, you know, looking at what's wrong, but start to really look deeply into the eyes of your soul and tell yourself how much you love yourself, how much better you're getting every day, how much you're improving and be your own best friend. Like look into that mirror and let yourself be the beloved that you've been looking for. And just watch what will shift in your life. So thank you all so much for joining us. And thank you, Amnon, for all of your support and love and light that you offer behind the scenes. I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Namaste. tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Help In with Debbie Brooke, Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Lessons of Vietnam with NCVBI members, The Tanya Love Show, Your Healthy Pet with Gisela DiCarlo, And if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by Atomus.com, makers of quality video recorders and converters for professionals. CarolinaApparel.com and DeltaForce.net. Welcome, everybody, to the Tanya Love Show, and thank you all that are taking the time to join us today, even when there's big, super, like, not Super Bowl, but uh, football games going on, and you're here anyway. That is awesome. So I just wanted to thank you all for joining us, and uh, a little shout out to our local team, Seattle Seahawks, because they completely did awesome today. I'm not a huge football follower anymore. I used to be into it, 
but I just heard that that was quite a comeback for them. So a little shout out for those 